The Fulani people of West Africa are the world's largest nomadic group. Fular, their native tongue, had always been a spoken language, but didn't have an alphabet. Forced to use other alphabets, the meaning and nuances of their words began to vanish, along with their traditions, stories, and songs, while illiteracy grew. Two young brothers, Ibrahima and Abdullahi Bari, refused to accept it, and letter by letter, created an alphabet for their people. But it only existed in a handwritten form, making it limited in the modern digital world. We would close our eyes and draw shapes based on the sounds of our language. Even though we created Atlam, to make it accessible, it had to be on computers. Working in partnership with the Berry brothers, we completed the encoding of the alphabet. And finally, the Fulani were able to type their language on their computers. Being able to use your language on a computer is so fundamental. If you don't have that, you just shut off from the world that we function in. But as the digital world kept evolving, major revisions were needed in order to make the alphabet easier to read and write. It takes hundreds of years for letter forms to take their final forms. But Microsoft is helping us speed that process. Working with typeface experts, the letter forms of the alphabet were revised, creating a new and optimized version. Then, we made it available on PCs yeah, around yeah. the world. We knew that making Adlam available on Microsoft 365 was going to be enormously significant for the Fulani people and the preservation of their language. And the community embraced it. For their businesses, their communications, and to teach the generations to come perpetuating Fulani culture forever.